friends, my name is Jen and I love cookies. I have done some rearranging of my apartment here so you can tell the couch is in a different place behind me. But today I have decided to revisit cookies from the Cravery. They don't really have a good, <laughs> I brought their cards over here but they don't really have a nice like logo anywhere. I think it's on their box but the box is in the freezer and my couch is in the way. So I'm not gonna show it. Anyway, um, I ordered their September flavors box a little bit ago. I've rated two of the five that I can so far. And so today I thought I would revisit with the blueberry pancake cookie. So it looks like this. The dough is a pancake dough and it has dried blueberries mixed in. It honestly also looks to me like it has white chocolate chips mixed in, but it doesn't say that. But I mean, you can clearly see that there's something mixed in there and I think it's white chocolate chips, but I guess we'll see. Um, this is a pretty normal sized, normal looking cookie. I imagine it will be normal cookie texture as well, at least from what I can tell so far. And I'm really hungry. I've been waiting to do this for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and see how it is. The dried blueberries are very, very sweetened. That was my first takeaway. Um, also, I do believe those are white chocolate chips. Um, or something. <laughs> and the dough has a really interesting flavor. I wonder, oh, I wonder if it's maple. And that's what it is. Because I don't know what pancake dough means. I think it might be sweetened with maple syrup. Let's try another bite and see if that sounds right. That bite didn't taste as mapley. Um, I'll keep deciding as I go. But the... <laughs> Um, the texture is pretty good. I would say it's a normal, like, bakery type cookie that you would expect. It is slightly on the dry side, but not enough that I would call it dry. Just like if you're on a, a scale of moist to dry, it's like right here, just slightly on the dry side. Um, but nice and crumbly and quite good. I'm so confused. I wonder if the maple's in these like white chocolate chip things somehow? Or if those are marshmallows? I think they're marshmallows. No, they're not. I don't know. <laughs> I need to take another bite. So I was confused enough that I read through the ingredient list. It does have maple syrup and it also has maple extract in here. So I was not making up the fact that there is a maple flavor to it. It says these white chips are vanilla appeals, A-P-E-E-L-S. I've not heard of those before. I don't really know what they are, uh, but I am confident that that's what these little chippy things are. So I guess they're vanilla flavored. Yeah, so this is like a nice, soft, crumbly on the outside, soft and pillowy on the inside. Classic bakery cookie. Um, so it's very, very much the texture of cookie that I thought was my favorite. 
before I started rating cookies on YouTube. <laughs> um, but it's still up there as a very, very good cookie texture. And uh, I think that's going to be all I have to say on this one. So let me finish eating it and then get it a rating. Okay, so in retrospect, now that the flavors have been kind of like hanging out in my mouth for a little bit, the chips definitely were vanilla. I don't know that they were necessary. Like I don't generally think of pancakes as having an overwhelming vanilla flavor, but I do think that they actually kind of helped like balance out the maple in a weird way. I don't know why, actually I do know why. It didn't occur to me that blueberry pancake would have a maple flavor to it because I do not put syrup on my pancakes. I just put butter on them. So I wasn't expecting that, but it does make it a more authentic twist for sure. I wouldn't say that it tasted exactly like a blueberry pancake, although maybe it would have if I put syrup on my pancakes. But I do think it did a pretty good job getting close. And I think the fact that it was cookie textured probably threw that off quite a bit. I think the a big part of pancakes is that they're fluffy. That's kind of what makes them pancakes. <laughs> um, the texture was really good. I think uh, the other two that I had, this one was probably an even better texture. And I like the like creativity of the whole shebang. It was just very creative. I think the only thing I really didn't like was that the blueberries were super, super sweet. And that was like the very first thing that I noticed. It did get a little bit less overpowering as I continued eating the cookie. But I try to buy dried fruit that is like less sweetened than usual. So I'm just used to a little less being punched in the face with sugar when consuming dried fruit. Um, and that was kind of a lot. It, I think, overpowered the blueberry taste by being so sweetened. And normally when you make blueberry pancakes, you'd use actual blueberries, so they wouldn't be quite so overpoweringly sweet. So all that said, it was still a really good cookie. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.1. Okay, that was the blueberry pancake cookie from the September flavor box from the Cravery Cookie Co. Um, if you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, and or subscribe below. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and eat more cookies.